You could be seeing another item on the menu at college stadiums and arenas this season, alcohol, after the governor put her signature on the law. It's our top story today at 5. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. Governor Gretchen Whitmer made it official last night, and now both Michigan State and the University of Michigan are joining 11 other Big Ten schools that allow the sale of alcohol. McCoy Scribner is here for you live at Spartan Stadium with a deeper look into this new law and what people are saying about it tonight. McCoy? Yeah, Sherry, instead of cracking open a cold one on the outside of the stadiums during tailgates in the fall, you could also be buying one on the inside. Professional sports like Lions games and even the Lansing Lugnuts offer alcohol sales, and now Spartan Stadium and the Big House should be joining them. But the big question is, will they be ready for the start of the season? Six News reached out to MSU officials who say the university acknowledges the new law, but there's a few steps to take before they're able to offer the option at Spartan Stadium. They can't say for sure whether they'll be ready by the fall, but they're committed to identifying a process by which this can happen. I spoke to a student today who says he's on board, but only if people are responsible. Sometimes on campus, there is, it's a big bit of ruckus when there's too much alcohol. If it's uh, monitored and proctored in a way that it's good, then it's fine because, you know, restric restricting it within, but it's very hard to do it. So, yeah, you need good, um, you know, uh, security over the thing. Now you might be thinking more alcohol might not be the best idea, but supporters of this law say it'll cut down on binge drinking before heading into the game. Here for you live in East Lansing, McCoy Scribner, 6 News.